Tuesday. Happy Tuesday morning. I am up early this morning. I have gotten a workout in. I gave myself one hour to work out this morning. Um, had to put a time limit on myself because sometimes I tend to overdo it. But I gave myself an hour. I was able to get in a quick 30-minute uh, hit workout and then I did a low-impact 30-minute ride. Uh, so I've got some good work up. I got a good workout in this morning. Um, I'm headed now to a couple of maintenance appointments. Uh, I've got a wax appointment and a lash appointment. Um, I actually wanted to go by um, Lowe's or Home Depot and get a couple of ideas or some inspiration for paint. Um, I kind of have a couple of ideas. I've been looking on some uh, Pinterest boards and uh, getting some inspiration there. I picked up my car from the uh, shop two, three days ago, and it seems like I've got little baby ants or something in here, so I don't know where they freaking had my car parked at, clean it out or something. I don't know what's in here. I don't want to spray in here. But anyway, back on topic, I'm trying to uh, prepare a couple of meals so that I can stay on track with my uh, eating this week. I want to record a video about all of my new in items that I've received or that I've gotten in over the last month or so. Been doing a little bit of shopping. Of course, you guys know that I have uh, actually, we took our family vacation about two weeks ago. Uh, and so I'm running behind on a lot of the things that I should have already had done by now. But like I said, I'm hoping to get back on track this week, hoping to uh, record some of my uh, new in items that I've received. Got a little bit of everything, but yeah. That is the plan. Um, I'm probably about five minutes away from my appointment. This appointment will probably last me about an hour and a half or so. So that may take me up to about lunchtime and then it'll be time for me to have something for, uh, something to eat anyway. So anyway, hope everybody's having a great day. And yeah. Lashes are done, and now I'm gonna run to the grocery store and um, pick up some mixed greens and some tomatoes. I got a taste for tomatoes in my salad, so I'm gonna pick that up from the store. Um, and then I forgot I've got to finish up paperwork for my kids for school. Um, they start back to school next week, so I need to finish up their paperwork and stuff for that. So that's a part of my to-dos for today. Um, I'm going to take care of that as well. So. I may not end up getting to um, my new items until maybe tomorrow. If I have time tomorrow, I'll actually work tomorrow. So I may have time to do it tomorrow, I may not. But if I don't get to it tomorrow, I probably will share the items on Friday. But yeah, right now I'm getting ready to, like I said, run by the store, get home, have lunch, and then start taking care of some of those things that I need to get taken care of. Pull this thing out. I've been riding around with it in my trunk just this little handy um, hand vac that I found on Amazon some time ago. Another new item, but these little ants carrying on in here. I need to, this thing needs to be charged. I wasn't thinking about that, but yeah, I'm gonna charge this up when I get home so that I can leave this in the car. It's like they're just little stragglers. Not even in my back seat do I see them, so I don't know where they're coming from, but I know that it had to come from when I, uh, had my car being serviced and then wherever they had it parked at when i picked it up it was parked under a tree so i'm thinking that that must have been where it came from but anyway i hate to have to spray any type of chemicals or anything in here but if it's necessary to get them out of here then that's what i'm gonna do so anyway i'll see y'all when i get to the house
so just finished in the store um picked up more than what i had intended to pick up which is not of the norm um i've got to get better i need to start really truly sticking to a list which i went in there without a list anyway i had a few things in mind and i ended up picking up some of the things that we were out of um while i was in there my daughter called me and told me that she wanted some cereal and we didn't have any more almond milk so i bought some more almond milk as well but um yeah i also picked up some flowers i noticed that the flowers that um i currently have in there are starting to dry out so it's time to change them out so i got a few um of the florals to try to make a couple of arrangements and had a couple of lilies that for some reason i don't know what happened to them but i came home it's like i went to work and i came home and both of them were drooping real bad and looking like they were sick um like they were dying and it was it like just happened suddenly so i don't really know what was wrong with them um i felt the soil and it wasn't really really dry but they could use some so i put some water in them last night and i didn't actually look at them before i left uh the house this morning for my appointment so i'm curious to see if that water <laughs> is gonna help the remaining um live uh, foliage on the plants um, because like I said they were looking real bad it was and it was like it happened within a matter of like a day or two I don't I don't even get it it actually had me really really worried or really concerned because I've never seen a plant do that that fast um, and so I don't know but yeah like I said I want to get home and see how they responded to me watering them even though I'm gonna have to do a whole lot of pruning most of the um a lot of the the leaves that were on there are going to have to be pruned off anyway just because of the condition that they were in when i uh saw them last night so anyway i'm gonna get home all right y'all so just got in from the grocery store as you guys know and i'm just gonna do a quick little haul of what i picked up got some watermelon bananas strawberries avocado tomatoes salad prep baby spinach got some cheese got a couple got sharp cheddar parmesan and a mozzarella blend also got some shaved shaved parmesan uh coconut yogurt uh, got some almond milk got some matcha also got some heavy heavy whipping cream salad dressing picked up some more kombucha some cran lemonade green juice a couple of salad kits some fruit chews cookies bacon and eggs got some cereal bread and also picked up some florals which you guys already saw so i'm getting ready to put this stuff up real quick and then make myself a salad all right, y'all, so this is what I was talking about with my plant. Uh, like I said, it just overnight went from nice, green, full, bountiful, standing up to drooping, dying, wilting really bad. So I don't really know um, what the cause is, why it's like that, but I'm going to do what I can to try to nurse it, do some pruning may even go ahead and repot it just to make sure that it doesn't have anything to do with the soil um because like i said this happened overnight they've been in these pots for at least four or five months at this point and haven't had any issues and like i said just overnight they just um started dying so um i'm not sure what happened but like i said i'm gonna try a couple things hopefully i'll be able to nurse them back <sighs> but only time will tell Blame, blame, blame. Basic bottom troll, what do you want? 
greater I am no wave, be surfing I show you how I get this pay, who are we stacking? Been in a whole lot of pain, now we laughing Me and Bay making plays till we crashing Yeah, yeah, yeah Don't need to be on the scene, we are the scene yeah. Dripping wetter from head to toe, la baby me Yeah, I get what's mine That's for mine Be my ride All gas No way they gon' never pay us No way they could ever break us Oh, next we ain't gonna slow up now All gas Stay down even when we not up No way they could ever break us up Oh God, they could only try to keep up I let it ride when I usually would've rolled out I know you grateful that I stayed down We eat a pass in the past, that's all done now Glad that we stayed down We gon' pull up in a whip, start a new trend Every inch of our skin is the blueprint Follow the lines They act like they forget, let's remind them be my ride All gas No way they can never pay us No way they can never break us Oh, next we ain't gonna slow just um, put my little floral arrangements together. Um, I wished I had gotten one more. I've got some small little gaps in here, but nothing extremely obvious. Um, cutting the stem sometimes will help the floral arrangements to look a little bit fuller, which in this case it did. And then um, these larger leaves uh, on the stems of the flowers help that gaping out a little bit as well. But like I said, this one is a little bit loose. It's not as pulled together as this one in this particular arrangement. 
And so I'm assuming it maybe something fell out of it or something right there. But like I said, in any event, I, th I still think that it's really pretty. Uh, the florals go together well. Now from this side, I can definitely tell. I may cut these just a little bit more because I don't like that gaping that I see right there in the top. Uh, but on this one, this one turned out just a little bit better. And that's why I probably will work on this one a little bit more because, like I said, I don't like that space in there. But this one has got the gaping, but it's more so because, well, if I had had another uh, stem or two, that would have filled that in right there. Um, what you can do is get like a bouquet, uh, what do you call it? A bouquet rubber band. And if you were able to find one and group them together, they'll still stand up pretty good as long as you've got enough uh, stems inside of it. And so that's what I'm thinking about doing. Perhaps if I get a rubber band, that'll keep the bouquet together. I wished I hadn't cut them now, um, cut them out of the actual bouquets that they came in. But um, if I can find a rubber band, I can probably uh, pull them back together or even some sort of twine or string, I can pull that back together and just make the arrangement look a little bit more uh, set and put together, but I think the colors work really well together um, One of the sets was green one has that Violet or blue light color and then I've got a little bit of white and that's in each of the arrangements same would apply here if I'm able to get some twine or some sort of um, a Rubber band or something I probably can pull that together better as well So I'm gonna keep working on it and then we'll set them in the house where they're gonna go for the next week or so, but I think that the colors themselves came out really nicely together. Looks very, very summer-like. Mm -hmm. Right, guys so i just finished putting those flowers together um from the uh that i got from Publix earlier today just wanted to share the um order that i got from coach um i did an unboxing but i wanted to just give a little bit more detailed information so i actually got three pair of shoes and i ordered them from the outlet they were on sale the outlet was running a sale um and so i ordered them probably a couple weeks ago and they're just now coming in but I got the Sammy Leather Slide in black. This is a six and a half. I actually already have this one in the chalk color. And those are really, really nice. Um, and I just picked them up in the color black. And you just see that basic coach uh, emblem on the front of the shoe. And it's got the word coach on the bed of the shoe as well. I picked these up, like I said, in a six and a half. They're basically an alternative to the ones that I really want, which are the Gucci horse fit slippers in black. I want the leather ones, but they are very, very pricey and probably not something I'm gonna be buying anytime soon. So I got those in black. Um, and no, they're not similar to the uh, horse bit slipper. In fact, Coach actually does have a slide that's a little bit more similar to that horse bit slipper than this slide, but I don't really care for the shape of it. Um, so I got these because I thought that they were a little bit more sleek and maybe in the future I'll pick up those Gucci horse bit slippers in the black or the leather black. Um, I've actually got it in the, what is it, the GG canvas print. I've got those Gucci slippers in the GG canvas print and I want them in the leather but I just don't want to pull the trigger on that um, price right now. The second pair of shoes that I got or ordered from the outlet uh is this i think that this is the is this a wiley pump might not be the wiley yeah this is the wiley pump they've got another one that is really really pretty and it's got the beaded detail all the way around the shoe the uh canvas leather print on it is very very similar to that other shoe and i like the little gold detail at the back with the uh double c on the back for coach i just thought that this was a nice sleek shoe got these in a size seven They've got a little bit more room in them than 
the norm, but they, they're they not, I'm not slipping and sliding, or I don't think I'll be slipping and sliding in them. And if I do, I can always get some sort of insole or something to help with that. I didn't want to go a six and a half because without trying it on in the store, sometimes a six and a half can be a little bit snug on my foot when it comes to a dress shoe. Typically, I wear anywhere from a six to a six and a half. Um, and sometimes, like I said, in a dress shoe, I'll grab a seven but I didn't want to take the chance of it being a little bit tight on my foot, so I went ahead and got the seven. Worst case scenario, if it tends to loosen up a little bit more than I care for, I can always get some sort of insole or something to help take care of that space. The last pair I got is the Alana Signature Sandal. I also got this in a six and a half. I've gotten or seen some mixed reviews rather on these where some are saying that they hurt your feet. Um, I personally don't see that happening, but of course I haven't worn them, so I can't speak personally for that, but they seem to feel very, very comfortable, seem like they're going to be a very comfortable shoe. And this will just help keep me from wearing out my uh, Louis Vuitton Bomb Dia mules by having these as an alternative. Um, these, of course, have the black and gray canvas print on them. And of course, the Bomb Dia mules has the Louis Vuitton signature monogram print. And so, like I said, just an alternative to the Louis Vuitton Bomb Dia mules. Um, those are my new end from Coach. Uh, some of the items that I got from the Amazon Prime Days, uh, the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, um, and a couple things actually that I got from TJ Maxx. So uh, let's just jump right into it. Um, I got some more of my favorite BCAAs. This is by Extend. Extend is the brand, and this is in Blue Raspberry Ice. I normally use this. I'll mix this um, with my um, water and the glutamine, I'll mix those together when I am working out or after I work out. Uh, just for muscle recovery, it does include electrolytes in this one. And I'm probably on my third or fourth uh, one of these. So pretty good product. I enjoy it. I like using it during my workouts. Um, also picked up the uh, collagen peptides. This is by, uh, what is the Sports Research? They changed the packaging on this. It used to be in a um, black shorter container that was a little bit more round or thicker um, had a thicker base rather um, but I got this one this one has 10 actually 11 milligrams 11 grams rather of collagen peptide and it includes 10 grams of protein so I use this normally in my tea I'll have a cup of tea or something like that at night when I'm getting ready to go to bed uh, sometimes I also use it in like a cup of matcha or if I have a taste for a cup of uh have a taste for a latte or something like that I'll put it in there and let it dissolve but I picked those up because I was running low on those and I told you guys I needed some more of this Guru Nanda mouthwash. I like this mouthwash a lot. I also use the coconut oil um, for oil pulling as well. Uh, but yeah, I was running low on this, and so I picked another one of those up. They had some good sales and had not pricing off where you would get like a coupon or a percentage off on some things. And so got this one for less than what I would normally pay for it. So that's always a win. I got these little teardrop earrings from Amazon. I've actually got a pair in silver and a pair in gold, but they are on the smaller side. This time I picked up one in the color, it's like a rose gold. And the size kind of threw me off because I didn't think that they, they were as big as they are. But these are actually pretty cute. They're not, the size is not ridiculous. I'm not really a bulky jewelry wearer. I like more of a dainty style earring or dainty uh, jewelry. But like I said, this I think looks pretty cute. It's not. Sorry, I don't know that one. It's not. Um, it's not too big. I like that. I like the size and I definitely like the color, the rose gold color. So I picked these up as well. I ordered the Pauline dupe off of. Amazon and it actually came. I'm gonna show y'all how it came packaged. It was in like this, it was wrapped in the plastic like this, and they had it just kind of bundled down. And this little piece of tape was holding that down like that, and so it kind of came like this in one of the I want I think the packaging, I don't think this was even in a box, because if I'm not mistaken, they put this in the mailbox. And so the handle and everything, the shape of it was a little bit smushed because of the way that they packaged it and sent it to me. 
Um, I was surprised about that because I had I had ordered I'd ordered actually two of the Pauline dupes, but of course they were from different companies. Um, but I would have thought that this one would have come packaged well like the other one. It wasn't the worst packaging; it just wasn't the best. So anyway, I got it in black, and this is the um, the dupe of the Pauline Mini Noof. I think is the name of it, and I think it's a really cute bag. Um, it'll serve its purpose nice cute little shape but you you can see that it's kind of bent in on the sides and everything because of the way that it was delivered um and i'm pretty sure if i put some stuffing in it that'll help it to get the shape or get its original shape but i thought that this was a really cute bag um very small little dainty bag nice date night bag or just a little classic bag and it does come with a strap i didn't unwrap that yet so it has a strap it does not have a zipper but it does have that one button closure there closes fairly easy and it's just a cute bag i think that the normal price for these for the real thing is probably like five or six hundred dollars and of course i've never had a polling bag i really have just started hearing about it to be honest um but i think i paid like 24 dollars or something like that for this little dupe and i think that's a good buy especially you know with me not knowing a whole lot about the bag and i didn't really know what it would look like i haven't actually seen one in store i don't even know if they carry these in the united states but if they do i've never seen one in store yet so anyway i just thought that this was a cute bag nice buy for the price you couldn't beat it i searched for a polling dupe on amazon when i was looking for this little mini noose and this one popped up and something about the color the shape everything just kind of jumped out at me um, but this one came packaged a lot better. It's in like this shoebox style box. It's got a little box top. It's by the brand or by the company rather, High Carry. It says Unleash Your Chic on the box. And like I said, they had this one packaged really nicely. Inside of it, the bag itself was wrapped. And then it was also inside of one of the little um, dusters as well, or what would be a duster. And then it was just in this nice, pretty burgundy-ish light color. On camera, it looks like it's coming across a little more red than it is. It actually has more of a muted red color to it. The handle is super, super cute. Here's the bottom of the bag. And I just thought that the stitching and the way that the bag itself gathers is very, very neat. Um, I don't know how I feel about this being on there. Of course, you can use this if you intend to carry it crossbody style, but my intent was to carry it top handle this way. Um, but you open it, you just slide the closure and open it up if you need to. And it too, it doesn't have a zipper, but it's got that, it's got like a magnetic closure here. It's still got the, the um, plastic stuffing on the inside of it, but it closes this way and of course you can just unloop it if you want to or unfasten it got a pretty good bit of space or pretty good bit of room in it, and then it looks like it also came with this chained um strap as well so as of now i just think it's a real cute bag i love the color on it it gives me fall vibes most definitely even though you can probably carry this year round just depending on what you're wearing or how you style it but um, I definitely get fall vibes from this bag and I'm definitely looking forward to carrying it. And again, it's supposed to be the dupe of the Pauline Berry bag. I got this um, setting powder. It's by One Size and I got this in Rich Peach. I like the Laura Mercier without a doubt. Um, you know, I'm not a big makeup person. I don't wear makeup that often, but when I do, I like for it to look really nice. I thought to try one that has some color to it and then when i set my face you know i think that it might give more of a um natural look to the uh, makeup that i wear and so i tried this out when i was in sephora and i liked the way that it looked on my skin tone and like i said it's in the color what did i say it was rich peach cute packaging very very cute packaging i'm looking forward to trying it out just to see if it makes a difference with the makeup that i'm wearing or not from, like I said, Sephora. This item, in addition to um, the one size setting spray, the mini size, I'm gonna try this out. Keep hearing a lot of good things about this. Um, it's waterproof, so I'm not really sure how hard it is to take your makeup off if you're using this. But, you know, like I said, I don't use a whole lot of makeup for the most part, just some concealer, if I'm gonna put something on anyway. Some concealer and maybe a little bit of blush. 
little bit of setting powder and for the most part that's gonna be it for me but um i picked this up just so i can try it out and see what the hype is got a feeling that it's gonna be a really good product um you guys saw last vlog or my travel vlog i had picked up that CeraVe sunscreen and i didn't like it why i didn't get the super goop i don't know um because i'd already been using the trial size that i might have got it for like a birthday gift or a free item or something like that but uh, anyway, this doesn't leave a white cast on my skin, so I, I picked this up in the SPF 50. Somehow or another, I have misplaced my um, brow pencil, so I picked up another one of these, and I got it in the warm black brown number five. Um, and I actually already have this. I don't know where it is. I feel like maybe when I was packing for my trip, I misplaced it or put it in a bag that it didn't go in, and now I can't find it, so... Um, I've been in need of another one, so I picked another one of these up. Also picked up the Fenty Lip Pencil, and this is in, what's the shade? Browned Out. So I picked up the Fenty Lip Pencil color again, it's browned out. I think that that's a nice um, lip color. Let's see. Shows up pretty well on the skin. And so I picked this up. And then I just picked up another blush. This is by Patrick Ta. And this one I picked up in the shade She's That Girl. Hopefully that can be seen. She's That Girl. And I picked that up um, just as an additional blush to add to my already smallish collection of blushes that I'll use. I picked up, um, what is this? The Niacinamide from the brand Ordinary. And I actually picked this up and the Hyaluronic Acid. Um, they had a special for the Niacinamide and the um, Hyaluronic Acid for $12.70. I think one of those regular price is like $9 and one of them regular price is like $6 and something. So you, were, I was able to save about $5 between the two on the two packages or the two items rather. Um, I already was using, or I was already using the, um, the hyaluronic acid. Um, never tried the niacinamide. I do have some items from the, uh, brand Glow Recipe that keep or that have this niacinamide in it. Um, and so I wanted to try the item itself by itself without all the extra additives or whatever they have in it, just to see, um, what the uh, result of that would be using it on my skin. And so I'm looking forward to trying this. I haven't had any type of bad reactions from using niacinamide. So, and the ordinary is very, very reasonable in terms of pricing. And so if I find that these are better for my skin or work for my skin, um, I probably will stick to something like this again, because I'm definitely fond of the price. It's not very pricey at all. And it's something that will help me take care of my skin. So also picked up this organic cold press rose hip seed oil um, i like to use an oil in my skincare regimen typically i i will probably for the last six to eight months or so i've been using the biosance um i forget what the name of it is i know it's got squalane in it um and i'm running very low on that i'm almost out of it and so um i haven't had any reactions to it i've seen good things i feel like it is helping with my skin, which I don't really have problematic skin, to be honest. Um, for the most part, my skin is pretty, um, pretty, pretty tolerant of most things. Now I do have, or can get cases of eczema. My skin will rash out and get dry patches if I don't moisturize it or hydrate it properly. So, um, I do include like an eczema lotion or a lotion that is for eczema on my face. In addition to like a hydrocortisone, 1% cream. I'll mix those two things together. And usually when I use that, I don't have any issues in terms of the dry patches or the rashy or itchiness in my skin. Um, but as long as I'm doing that and I'm, you know, keeping my face nice and refreshed and clean, I usually don't have a whole lot of skin issues. But like I said, I do also like to include an oil in it. The Biosance has worked well. I have seen a little bit of a glow um, and I typically will use that at night. Um, another one that I'm fond of is the Pixie Treats uh, Rose Oil. I like to mix that. That was one of the first oils that I ever started using, mixing it in with my um, 
eczema lotion and the hydrocortisone and it always gave me a nice glow to my skin so anyway because i like the ordinary products i like the hyaluronic acid for sure i wanted to try out this rose hip seed oil to see if it serves my skin well um even the pixie treats that i use is like 20 dollars um that Biosense product is probably 40 ish dollars on the low end and then maybe all the way up to 60 excuse me 60 or 70 bucks if you get the larger bottle and so with this being maybe like seven or eight dollars definitely a better buy but we'll see um, I'm pretty sure that all of the ingredients in here are not included or all the ingredients rather in that Biosense is not in this but I do know that it does include this so we shall see and I actually thought that I got the necessary products from uh, Nordstrom, but I did not. Nordstrom was running a sale on their necessary body wash. They had, I believe, two of the eight ounce uh, bottles of the body wash and the eucalyptus scent. They were running a special on those, but me reading some of the reviews and things, a lot of people I come to find didn't really or don't really care for the scent of it. They like the way that it makes their skin feel but not so much the way that the um, body wash smells. I do like eucalyptus, but I don't know if I like the way that it would smell on my skin or not. And because I have not personally smelled it, I decided to try the other body wash that they had. And this one was the Olibanum. I'm not sure how, if I'm pronouncing that right or not. Olibanum. And of course comes in that necessary packaging. And it's got the brown top on it and to me I've already smelled it it's got a nice scent to it almost like a I don't know what how I would describe this scent the signature actives in it is enzymes which is bromelain uh papain superoxide it's got vitamin c vitamin e niacinamide um and like I said I like the way that this one smells so because I like the, the way that this one smells and I had the ability to smell it beforehand. I went ahead and got this one instead of the eucalyptus scent. Um, but then the other two items that I got from Necessary is the body retinol and the body serum. And the reason why I picked up the retinol for sure is because I'm starting to see like white spots or I don't know if they're called sunspots, age spots or something like that on my legs. Um, and I know my mom gets them or has them on hers. And I don't know if that is just the way that her skin is made or what that comes from, but I'm starting to see it on mine as well. And so if there's something that I can do to keep my legs pigmented or not lose color in my legs and I wanted to try something. And so in doing some research, it says to use a product that has some retinol in it or use a lotion or something like that with retinol in it. So um, I know that the Necessaire, the body retinol comes highly recommended. And so I thought I would try this out just to see whether or not it's something that will actually help me or help keep my skin even all the way through. Um, it says this body retinol is a repair serum for the skin. Use is tolerated for best results. Use nightly. Apply to the areas where treatment is needed. Um, apply to clean skin. Use sunscreen prior to sun exposure. So um, it has peptides, vitamins, glycerin in it, 10% uh, AHA, and pure retinol. So um, we'll see. 0.1% pure retinol is what it says. And this is a 5.1 fluid ounce bottle. So I'm going to try this out. Hopefully it'll work or serve me for the purpose that it's intended for. And then the body serum. I picked this up as well. I'm going to start implementing these, both of these products rather in my, probably my nighttime skincare routine. That's when I'll have more or the most time to um, really pamper myself. But the body serum is in a white bottle and this has hyaluronic acid in it. It's a hydrating serum. And so this will probably, like I said, just help with refreshing my skin a little bit more, giving it a little bit more hydration little bit more clarity with that hyaluronic acid in it and helping my skin retain some elasticity. Um, you want to use sunscreen prior to your sun exposure and likely in probably probably just want to pair your sunscreen with these products just to make sure that you're not experiencing any reaction from 
getting sun exposure and using these items so that's my assumption in terms of why they include that disclosure on here but i'm not sure then i just got a couple of things that i found at um tj maxx which probably shouldn't have bought it but i did i just got these cutesy little earrings these were twelve dollars that i got from uh, like I said, TJ Maxx, and I just like the, the shape of these. I've got some similar, but they look more like a chain, and they're more slender. They're very narrow. These have more of that rounded shape to them, and I just thought that it was a really cute earring, and then for the price, you can't beat that, so I picked this up. Um, I just picked up a couple of these little studs. I like to wear these in my second and third hole, sometimes in the first hole, just depending on you know, the vibe that I'm going for. But I picked up some more of the little studs that I like to wear from time to time. And then I just thought these, these were some cute little uh, small hoops. One set is like a little pearl set. Then you've got like a little fake bling set. And then just that simple solid gold-like color. And I just thought these were really cute. And three sets of earrings. And they were 15 bucks uh lead safe nickel free and so i think all the earrings are lead safe and nickel free i don't usually have any reactions when i pick up the little cheap like jewelry from tj maxx and so i picked those up found these um velour powder puffs and they were seven bucks for eight of them and so i think that that will serve well it's got about like i said eight puffs in there serve well with putting powder on or dabbing the excess oil or something out of my face this i just thought was adorable it's one of those items that they have sitting next to um the counter space or when you're getting ready to check out one of those last minute impulse purchases and they got me because i ended up grabbing it this was 12 dollars, but i just thought that it was super super cute it's like this little heart box and I probably will put, I don't know what I'll put in. I don't know whether I'll put like my little bracelets in it or some little earrings or something. But I just thought that it was super cute. Hadn't seen anything like it. I don't have anything like it. And so, yeah, I picked this up. It's got a little mirror on the bottom side of it too. That's just really cute. So I got that. Picked up some shades that I don't need. But I love shades. So, anyway. These were, I uh, think they were like $9 or something like that. Tommy Hilfiger, and I just like the ombre effect. You got the dark brown up top and then the lighter brown at the bottom. And I just thought that they were really cute. So I got these. And then I got this little two-piece pants set by Rachel Zoe. And it's, um, it's, it's it looks like linen. I'm pretty sure that this is not linen, but the pants have this elastic detailing at the back. Uh, you got full pockets on both sides of the pants. The pant is cuffed, if you can see that. So I don't know how I feel about that. But I like the color. I like the natural color of the pants and the vest that matches it. I just thought it was a really cute set. And so I picked this up as well. And like I said, these items came from TJ Maxx. This is by, again, Rachel Zoe. And the little set was in a, or is rather, in a size small. Um, and it fits pretty good. So not pretty good. It fits really good. Got a couple other things that I'll probably share. I'll likely probably pick up the camera and share some of that tomorrow. <laughs>
matcha uh, mix that I got from Publix earlier today. It's made by Calafia Farms. And it's not bad. I tried it, you know, just simply by itself at first. And like I said, it's not bad. Um, but it doesn't have as strong or as rich of a matcha flavor as what I prefer. The one that I normally use is this single serve by Harmony. It's Harmony Organic Tea. Organic matcha is one gram. And I normally will get these from TJ Maxx. And I like these. I normally make my own with this little single serve and flavor it the way I want to. Put a little bit of almond milk, a little bit of uh, creamer, if you will. And I mix it together and have it that way. But And normally, just to be honest and to be fair, I normally do a matcha when it is hot. I like a hot matcha. So um, trying it this way, cold, um, and then not my normal brand is probably what's throwing me off a little bit. But like I said, at first taste, it's still not bad. It's, it just doesn't have, to me, as strong of a matcha flavor as it could. So I'm going to add this to um, the already flavored matcha mix and just see if that's what's missing. You saw I also added a little bit of that brown sugar syrup to it. But I think that this is probably going to... give it the taste and the flavor that I am looking for. So, let's try that. Yes, so this tastes more, or well, the flavor of the matcha is stronger with me adding that to it, which, you know, like I said, I can probably drink it without it. I don't have to have that, but I just like more of a matcha flavor. If I'm, if I'm going to drink matcha, I like more of a matcha flavor in it. So not one that really cares for milk at all. And so um, being able to add that matcha to it takes away from some of that or takes away from the flavor of what would be milk, even though it's almond milk. It's dairy-free and soy-free. So, um, But yeah, I can tolerate this. I can drink this. Um, and worst case scenario, of course, I've still got my single serves, but I like this one as well. It's just one that you have to doctor up, in my personal opinion, to give it the flavor that I'm looking for, so. He coming now, ain't he? All right, guys, so it is Wednesday and I am at my son's school. He is about to have his overnight stay uh, for orientation. What'd they say? Uh, we gotta go to the Oaks. Yeah, it was where this is where it's gonna be at tomorrow. Hang on, y'all. Mm -hmm. You can't just pull your camera out. You gotta start saying something. Make sure, like I said, check in so I'll know where I'm supposed to come. Okay. Love you. I'm just surprised he wanted to because at first he's like, and we have to be out, oh, but you're going to do all that stuff tomorrow. So I have, um, like I said, dropped off my son. He's having the orientation. He is uh, registering for f freshman year. Um, and they are spending the night there. And then in the morning is the parent orientation so I will be back here in the morning I'm a little emotional but I'm okay I'm hanging in there right now I like I said I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling emotional but it's okay I'm glad that he's not going as far away as uh, we once thought so um, like I said I just I'm just checking in I have not actually picked up the camera in several days because I have been quite busy to say the least but um, I will be back here tomorrow and more than likely I may pick up the camera and vlog a little bit of that but I know that we'll I'll have to be in tune and um present uh in those moments so uh I'm like I said may pick up the camera just a little bit to share a little bit of that on tomorrow but as of now I have officially dropped him off and yeah Some luck in the book I don't give a what someone, someone say 
Finally got my friends in the back of my roller We gon' make it big one day We gon' make it big, I say We gon' make it big, just stay in the Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Give you a moment to Give you a moment with me Spend all the roses Spend all the roses with me Since you got lost in November See it in your eyes when we leave for the night Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the flame burn out for a while Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Give you a moment Alright y'all, back home um, And everything actually went fairly well today um, this was day two of uh, my son's orientation for school. And I actually was, um, I was not as far behind as I thought I was. We had actually taken care of a good bit of it. Um, if you guys don't know, I actually have two now that are uh, in college. He's actually starting. So um, a lot of the things that I had already done for uh, my daughter carried over for my son. Not all of it. I still had some things that I had to take care of, but... Um, this year, of course, they made a lot of changes with some of the uh, things that were available to students. And so um, some of the information, like I said, did not carry over for him, but uh, the bulk of it was done. So I was not as far behind as I thought I was. But um, anyway, we got everything done. We did quite a bit of walking. Um, they actually separated us, which to me actually cost us more time than it should have because if they had kept my son and myself and well, if they had kept the parents and the kids together, I don't think that it would have taken as much time as it did. Naturally, most of the kids would not know and didn't know what they needed to do or how to handle some of the things that uh, they were gonna be responsible for handling. And so they ended up having to pair back up with the parents anyway. But um, like I said, in any event, we got it done and I am glad that that particular part of it is over um and so yeah like I said back home and now it's fairly late several several hours later um I did not get up this morning and get a workout so I'm going to try to do just a really really quick 30 minute probably bike workout like I said we did so much walking today that I really don't feel like I was a slacker today so a quick 30 minute bike workout will be probably sufficient for the day um, I haven't cooked anything though, so more than likely, I'm probably not going to. I'm trying to think of something quick that I can order or have my husband pick up on the way home. Or I may just order them some wings or something like that and they'll eat that for dinner tonight because I'm probably not going back out. Um, and that's going to be that. So I'm switching back to day shift on tomorrow. Meaning I have to be up very, very early, and this is also my working weekend. So, for the most part, I'll be tied up or unavailable all weekend. So, I'm not going back out. I'm not doing any cooking. I need to try to get myself set up for success for tomorrow and for the weekend. So, um, like I said, I'm probably getting ready to door dash something or maybe order them some wings or something like that. Um, I was intending to or wanted to record the rest of my new end items but my um the lighting in my room went out so i gotta get my husband to check that when he comes in my lighting is not all that good as it is so i really don't want to try to record or share anything and the video quality is already not at its best and then it will be even worse with the light in the way that it is so uh, whenever he gets in i'll have him to check that all right guys happy friday um I actually just got in from work and I wanted to jump on real quick and finish sharing the remaining items that I picked up uh, from the, some were from the Nordstrom anniversary sales, just a few items left. I shared quite a few the other day, but I've got a couple more that I wanted to share from the Nordstrom anniversary sale, a couple items that I picked up uh, from Amazon a couple weeks ago during Prime. Uh, and I wanted to share those items real quick and then go ahead and get this vlog closed out. 
kind of lingered quite a bit and I want to hurry up and get this one closed out because I want to go ahead and uh, do the try on haul for my new end pieces, which I've got a few, um, not as many as I've had in the past, but quite a few that I still want to share. Um, and I decided not to try to include that in this video. I just feel like it would make it way too lengthy. Uh, so that in addition to a request for a skincare routine, our future videos that I have coming up. One of my friends here on YouTube has made the request and asked me to share uh, some of the products that I use for my skin on a day-to-day -day basis. And so um, I'm going to be doing a video sharing some of those items with you uh, again in a skincare video coming up. So if that's something that you're interested in seeing, be sure to stay tuned. That will be coming up in a future vlog. Uh, but without further ado, let me go ahead and just share the remaining items, like I said, that I picked up from uh, the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale and from Amazon so we can wrap this video up. All right, so one of the items that I picked up during the Amazon Prime Days is this newer wide angle lens for my camera. I have the Sony ZV-1 camera and I'm actually still learning how to use it. To be honest, I probably don't use it as much as I should. If I did, I probably would know how to use it a lot better than um, what I do. A lot of times I'll pick up my phone because I feel most comfortable with that. And that's simply because I haven't made myself grow accustomed to the use or the different features on my camera. But anyway, I picked up this wide angle lens because I know that it will allow the view of my camera to expand more and pick up a little bit more than me. I won't be as pressed in terms of uh, the position of the camera if I have more of a wider angle or wider lens. So it was recommended by uh, one of the uh, videos that I saw when I was trying to get or gain tips on how to use my camera. And so I did pick up one of these from uh, Amazon during the prime days. All right, next up, I picked up these clean skin towels. Um, I've probably been using these for probably about maybe close to two years now. Um, like these much better than using a washcloth. And so um, I'm not completely out of these, but I always like to try to get more or re-up on them before I get close to running out. So I picked another one of these up, picked up some compression socks. One was made by the brand Papless. I think that's the name of this or how you pronounce these. Um, and just wanted to kind of try them out and see if they help aid with uh, my feet or my legs during the day. Um, I do sit at a desk sometimes and sometimes my feet swell a little bit and I've heard that the use of compression socks can help alleviate some of that sometimes. That in addition to, of course, getting some movement around throughout the day when you are working in an office setting. But um, I picked up some uh, compression socks. I picked these up primarily for the color, but I'm hoping that I will see some benefits from using compression socks throughout the day, even here at home or if I'm working out or um going for a walk or a run I think that these will come in handy so it says it's most or primarily used for leisure sports fitness running and other department sports so um I think I'll get some good use out of them and um worst case scenario they're just a, a cute little sock that I can throw on with a pair of sneakers so and then I picked up some that were um Kathleen Brazera I think that's how I pronounce it Brazera um, I got these. These are um, these came in several colors as well. I picked them up in this white and pink color. And like I said, these are calf length. And so these will probably get the most use um, in terms of days when I'm looking for compression. If I'm, of course, flying on a plane, I didn't think about that. But naturally, uh, compression socks are good when you're having to travel or fly on a plane, maybe long road trips or something like that. So during the Nordstrom sale, you can see I've already opened it, is this L'Occitane, I think that's how you pronounce it, L'Occitane shower oil. And I will say I've already used it. Um, I used it once and it uh, during the sale, you got this 16.9 um, fluid ounce bottle and then you also got a backup. So you basically got two for one and I believe that they were both the same size they were so both the same size um one has of course the pump on it and one does not it just has the um has a cap on it the material is fairly thin but of course it's still supportive enough to hold the liquid in there but anyway i picked it up and a lot of people rave about it um i can say from first use i wasn't that impressed um I'm going to definitely give it another try. I'm going to use it up because, number one, it, was, it wasn't that cheap. But um, for me, I didn't find the or have the experience that I've seen 
other users of this product have. So, um, like I said, I've only used it one time and perhaps um, I did, maybe I didn't use enough or maybe I didn't use, you know, sometimes a loofah versus a sponge or uh, maybe even a um, exfoliating um, sponge might help bring out whatever the hype is about this product but like I said so far I don't see it I do like the way that it smells I like the almond scent in it um, but in terms of lather or in terms of me feeling clean after using it not so much um, now it is a shower oil and that's probably why um, it doesn't produce as much of a I guess lather like cleanse uh, that other uh, soaps or um, body washes would but like I said in my opinion so far I'm not that impressed again I'm going to use it up because I purchased it but I don't know if I'll purchase it again this is another thing that I will again circle back on because I'm really just not sure um, of the product as of yet but all right I also picked up these two sheer shirts I picked up one in the color what is this yellow celery and then I picked up one in black and it's just this sheer like turtleneck I'll pop up a picture of the model wearing it uh, and may actually share how these look in a future haul maybe in the next haul when I do my try on of some of my new clothing items that I'm getting in into summer beginning of fall but I really liked the idea of having a sheer um, turtleneck or see-through shirt so I picked it up in this yellow celery color and then I also picked it up in black, which of course I know I'll get a great deal of use out of it simply because it is um, just one of those basic colors that you can just about pair with anything. But uh, like I said, I picked it up in the black and I picked it up in the yellow celery. And I believe these shirts at the time of the sale, um, they were on sale for 29 bucks, but the regular price was $49.50. So I think that was a pretty good deal. And like I said, I think I'll get a good bit of use out of this. Last item these new running sneakers by the brand on cloud i picked these on cloud monster running shoes up and they're just in this nudie beige like color it's not really beige it's like a nudie pink uh with a little bit of gray or silver like detail on the side if you if you will and let me see these are actually supposed to be in the color moon fawn so they're in the color Moon Fawn, and I picked them up in a size six and a half. I like the color of them. I like the fact that it looks like a nude shoe. Um, I've got quite a few things that would go with this well. They're very, very lightweight, um, and I think that I'll get a lot of use out of these. These were also picked up during the Nordstrom sale. Alright guys, so that is the end of this vlog. If you have reached this point in the video and you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. It would help my channel out a lot. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the other things that the other YouTubers tell you to do, and I will certainly check in with you guys later. Bye.